Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, so last time I went over a ton of stuff. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too overwhelming and we got through the first sector. Uh, I wish I could have shown you guys the, the overview of the sectors, but I'll, I'll try and do that again when we get to the exit here. As for right now, let's just go and head to our first store. No, our second store. We did one last time. So we look... Um, I don't really have much to sell. So right now with the configuration I have for weapons, it's not enough to take down the final boss. And so I really need to do an upgrade to that. <clears throat> what I really want to do <coughs> is get to um, have more weapons better weapons than these basic lasers these are super cheap uh, I'm not sure about the drone system and augmentation so I'll see what I can do but uh, right now not really much from this store so I'll go ahead and just buy some fuel and I'll repair so right now the repair rate is two scrap per one uh, hull point I'll go ahead and top it off uh, as we go on to later sectors right now I'm only in two out of eight uh, it'll get more expensive, so right now it's best to uh, keep your hull to max. And I will spend points on evasion. So what here is what I did here is I just spent one point to upgrade the engines, and I bought another bar of power to go along with that. Oops. There we go. That was weird. So I will go ahead and jump to the next location. We got to keep an eye out for stores and. Okay, well, like that. And we'll just try and accrue scrap so we can buy better weapons. Um, so this guy right now only offers 12, which isn't that great. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to download. And we get 13, uh, some other stuff. And he gave us data about the sector, which is nice. So uh, we've got a couple ships. These yellow ones indicate the ships are there. And then it gave us the distress beacon over here. <laughs> And what these orange circles means is that there are um, environmental hazards. In this case, there's a sun here. Uh, this one, there's an asteroid field, which um, the asteroids will pelt your ship. And here, oh cool, they're all different. This one is a pulse. Pulsar is flooding this area with dangerous electromagnetic forces. And those kind of act like uh, they just stun both you and an enemy ship if there was one. And there is. So, with 41 scrap, there's not really much I can do, but I'll go ahead and visit the store just in case. Uh, it seems they're willing to work on any ship, not only those of Rebel Hue. Funny enough, my uh, ship does have a uh, Rebel theme to it, but that's just because of the type. Anyways, back to the store. No weapons. They do have drone control, cloaking, and hacking, but uh, I think I'll forgo those for now, and I'll keep this. So we move on. Nothing too much happening going on right now, so okay, never mind, I say that. We've got intruders on our ship, and I like to see where they go. They attack J2. I'm gonna go ahead and send a rock guy in. And of course the mantis guy helps too. Oops. So we'll go ahead and Where are you all going? I wanna get him out of here. Something is wrong. There we go. My controls are messed up. And now I'm failing to defend. Okay, so now these guys who are better at combat will take on the, the duo. And the two humans will just take on that guy. I'll have the Zoltan go ahead and power the med bay. And then we should take care of that. Nothing bad at all. See how fast the Mantis moves compared to the Rockman. Okay, so he can get back to piloting, which means next person can go in. J2 will get back to cameras. And, uh, no harm. No harm done. Uh, I'd like to take the time to just probably go over the med bay real quick and uh, some of the stuff it does. When oxygen is down, it's really important to have your uh, crew healed because whenever they need to go in a room without oxygen, they will take continuous damage. And other than that, uh, it's important to have you guys healed up before every uh, jump, just in case you get intruders, but you know, sometimes they get a little, little bit hasty. What can you do? Next, Rebel Fleet. Okay, 
They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. So they're going to try and run away, and they're going to do that by charging their drive. They have one just like me. And when they have it charged, they will fly away, and the rebel fleet will um, advance even more. So I want to go ahead and target one to their ship, or ship's shields. I just realized my shield wasn't powered. And now see, since I'm timing it in a way that this laser will hit their shield first, and so my subsequent shots with these lasers will go where I want them to, if they hit. And I want to power that, that, and another one to their, uh, their weapons. Okay. So they breached my ship, and even though I shot that first laser, which went to target their shields, one of the other lasers went to, uh, and got to their ship first, which is why I actually pierced and hit their shield. I'll leave the breach for now. Actually, no, I'll go ahead and get him. And we'll fire another volley. I still need to get down their evasion. And see, now that I crippled their piloting, they can't charge their FTL drive. Same goes for their engines. If I cripple that, uh, they'll be delayed. Oh, I timed that poorly and I gotta get him out. I can take down oxygens because I don't need to evade because their weapons are down. And I'll go ahead and charge those all up. Perfect. So they pretty much are done. Yeah, so it's all about- whoa, there's a fire on their ship. It's all about uh, maintaining your cool, really. Uh, knowing what you need to do, how to attack the enemy ship, what systems to go for. Um, fight to your strengths and make sure they can't hurt your ship. You know, it's kind of like a who fires first, but there's more to it than that. You come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian ship, and I will help him. So he's got the whole laser and beam drone combo. Uh, if I take down their laser, then this beam drone has no chance of hurting me. That was close. I talk and I say that. Okay, I hit the beam drone. But, <clears throat> no damage done to us. I'll wait for this to charge. I'm just kind of poorly shooting everything. I shouldn't do that. Alright, I can play better. Now I'll target all those systems that are still up. Nope. Yeah, I'm kind of just willy-nilly shooting. Uh, I know we've got this already, so... There. Oh, nice. So I helped that, uh... I don't know, whatever it is the ship was attacking. And the captain offers to install a piece of equipment on my ship in the form of a Pegasus missile. I will take that, and see it goes to my cargo because I can't fit it here. The maximum amount of weapons I can have is four, but I'll go ahead and replace it. That goes in the cargo, and now we have a Pegasus missile. It's a missile, it ignores shields and requires one missile from here, and this thing requires three power. So I gotta go ahead and route power to that. So this is the amount of total, or sorry, the total amount of power I can uh, route to my weapons. So I could do something like that, otherwise I could do all these three if I want to. And we can see here, if we go to the equipment, the Pegasus takes 20 seconds to charge there on the right, but it pierces all shields. So I think for right now we'll be good without the missile launcher, because we're only in the first two sectors. So we'll go ahead and just jump. You arrive near a small rebel refueling depot, your ship is being scanned multiple times, uh, so on. Uh, Alright, to the ship, but actually... So, another thing I find myself doing is that I always accrue a lot of scrap, and then I blow it all at the end of the sector. But, you want to be able to manage your scrap wisely, you don't want to go um, hoarding scrap and not upgrading your ship. And then you come, say, across a ship with a... Uh, I don't know, three shields or something and you can't you can't take it down because your ship's not up to par. So find a good balance between upgrading your ship and saving scrap for stores. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and see it costs 50 for shields and then another 40 for the bars of power um, But I only have 85 so I think I'll just do another engines block and Bring our evasion up to 30% which is nice <clears throat> Rebel autonomous scout is exploring the beacon so he's got a different kind of drone. This is a uh, combat drone and it'll just shoot one laser every time. But luckily my shield naturally comes back just fast enough that this shouldn't pierce one, uh, one block by itself. Sometimes it gets lucky because it flies around my ship and it'll fly, shoot, fly right next to itself and then shoot again. Otherwise uh, it shouldn't get through this. But what this ion weapon will do, which is a new weapon, Okay, so it didn't hit my shield, but it hit my oxygen instead, and it um, it locks the system. It locks whatever it hits. If it hits the shield uh, barrier, it'll it'll target the si the um, shield, Whoa. and it'll basically stun it for a set amount of time. In this case, uh, one one cycle. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and target their their drone because I don't want that getting to my ship. I'm not worried about taking their shields down just yet because now that they can't do damage, I can go ahead and do that. And just... There we go. So, again, like I said before, um, it's best to plan out whether you want maximum damage on their ship or do you want maximum protection for your ship. And I, in this case, chose maximum protection because this guy can cause a lot of damage if my shields go down. Or are at least stunned. Um, we could check this out, even though there's nothing in there, but I think I'll go straight to the exit. You revive at the long range beacon, FTL drive is charged so you can jump to the next sector. So another rebel checkpoint, and I want to fight. Okay, so more laser weapons, uh, heavy laser one, which we saw last time, and this is a burst laser mark two, I believe. Yeah. And that'll fire three shots all in a burst and I do not want that to happen so again hit their weapons and because I crippled it they had to um, sort of configure which weapons they wanted charged uh, this one probably only takes one bar and this one I know takes I think two or three so with when I uh, crippled his weapons he had to decide how much power would go to which one and in this case he could only charge this so now I can go ahead and get their shields and I'll go for evasion as well cool uh, one thing important to note is that oftentimes depending on their piloting as well as my piloting ability if you don't have anyone piloting your ship um, so I'm gonna show that here Evasion immediately goes to zero and your FTL drive will not charge. I'm gonna put him back. Uh, I'll show you something else when I finish this battle. I don't know, I'm just targeting stuff now. Again, he can't do damage because he cannot get through my shields. And I'm not worried about him dodging my attacks. Ship explodes with another substantial collection of useful scrap material and some fuel to go with it. Alright, so before I go, um, right here, I was going to say, Piloting allows the ship to make FTL jumps and dodge when piloted. Upgrading adds autopilot that allows some evasion even without a pilot. So, if I upgrade that, which I will just to show you, I can take this guy off and I still get 50% of what my regular evasion number would be. So I put him back on and I get 25. 